Whoo, hello everybody. Welcome once again to 100 Days of Making Comics, and this is CB Smallwood. Now, for those that don't know, 100 Days of Making Comics, every day, every other day, or just whenever I can, I'll be writing, drawing, inking, coloring, lettering. I'll be doing something to further my goals to become a comic book artist, to get a good portfolio together, and hopefully have a comic book done roughly within 100 days, give or take. Uh, with that said, I've been working on my comic book, uh, Wildcat. And um, I guess I just want to give an overall update of what I've done and where I'm at. And uh, even though I haven't uploaded the past couple of days, I have been drawing. Okay. So, let me flop this bad boy down here. And, and to give you a bit of perspective... See how thick that is? See these pages? Yeah, nice. I like that. So, um, <clears throat> these these are pages that are pretty much drawn. Uh, now, I want to give a disclaimer, okay? <laughs> um, this the, the disclaimer is this. On a lot of these pages... There's still things that I need to go back, fix, tweak, or finish. Uh, the, the way that I work when, when I draw my comics, as of right now, you know, I imagine, you know, the more discipline I get, you know, the more, you know, I'll change, you know, how I do things. But right now, <clears throat> the way that I do things is that I will draw something to the best of my ability. And if I get stuck, I will move on. To another panel or another page um, or if I get bored I will move on to another panel to another page um, so forth and so on uh, so my big thing is just keep churning out the pages because once I've got the skeleton I can start putting on the meat and the skin uh, to make the thing whole so and also I still have to ink it so there's still things that some things that I may kind of leave somewhat bare that I, that I, I, that I will actually finish out in the inking process. So uh, l let me show you what I've got here. Um, <clears throat> unless I'm mistaken, I have 16 pages now of comic. 16 pages of comics. So there's the first page. And second page... Third page. Uh, also, something else that I've done in in this. If you notice, the borders are not very precise. That that is because <clears throat> I'm going to go in later with uh, a ruler, and I will make the borders. I I hate I hate drawing straight lines. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't mind it if it just comes out natural, but I, I just, I hate measuring and doing stuff like that. And just, I just want to, I like drawing organic and just, you know, throwing it on the page. So I get kind of annoyed at using a ruler. This is actually a double splash page. This is a uh, pages uh, five and six. There are some things on this page that I need to flesh out better, uh, such as I need to add the the rock arm feature to Wildcat. I also need to um, shucks. What was the other thing? Uh, one of these guys needs to have a chain on him, and that so forth and so on. But anyway, that's a double splash. Uh, flip him over. Um, and here's page seven. Okay. Now, for those of you that's already seen this stuff, you know, just fast forward the video to you get to a new page. Uh, cause you know, I don't want to bore you with this. Uh, but you know, for those of you who have not seen this, uh, you know, stick with it. You know, there, there's some cool stuff in here. And some stuff that doesn't look so hot, you know. I'm not going to lie. I 
okay and uh, again this is an example like uh, this this right here this 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 will be different i'm going to change this uh, this is going to be filled out better you know so this is an example of what i was talking about earlier about I, you know i still have to go back over these pages and flesh them out some more and uh that sort of thing so But it's just the way that I've chosen to work on this book because I just I'm just trying to get stuff done. Oh. Let's see here. Camera's a little blurry, but I, I think it's mainly because of the uh Auto focus feature, you know, I guess. <laughs> you can't really tell what's going on here. I don't know. I may have to fix that, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not done with this uh, splash page. I still need to refine a few things. I like to work on the ground a little bit to make it look more groundy like. I was also going to add some um, leaves. These circles right here are spots that I've kind of marked out for leaves. Uh, I'll probably add more than that. <clears throat> and. Um, Whew. And I've asked this question, and I've got some. Uh, I've gotten three good replies on this so far, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get rid of the nose. Uh, somebody pointed out, and, and forgive me for not knowing who said what, when, and where, but somebody pointed out that uh, usually when you seeing out through your eyes and your first person perspective, you typically don't see any nose. Now, that's because you usually have both eyes open. Now, if you close one eye, and I don't want to mess anybody up, <laughs> you know, with, with mental mind games, but if you close one eye, you can see your nose. Um, and it kind of gets in a way of your vision, oddly enough. But, like, when you open both eyes, it makes your nose... It gives the illusion that, that, that your nose disappears, you know. Uh, but, yes, typically you cannot see your nose when... You got both eyes open. And so I think I'm going to erase this. I mean, even though I think when it's colored, uh, uh, Foy Storm's right, when it's colored, I think people will be able to tell. But I think some people will be kind of confused too, uh, even when it's colored. So I'm going to get rid of the nose and I'll figure something out there. Uh, it was a neat idea though, uh, but I think I poorly executed it somehow. Hmm. Uh, somebody else gave a good tip that this uh, blank space over here could be uh, with the fish sticks. Uh, what would they say? Uh, that it could uh, be told through the fox's perspective of looking at um, Wildcat. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I may, I may sketch that out and experiment with that. I also kind of mangled this page, unfortunately, because I got choked on pop and... Um, I spit it out all over the table, all over the curtain. And now there's like these spots like right here and right here. And I tried to get rid of them, but, you know, you can only do what you can do. It's a shame. It's a shame. This is a decent looking page. It's not the best page in the world, but it's, I, I'm happy with it, you know. Uh, here is the newest page, page 16. And, you know, I probably added more detail since you have seen it last. Right? And this is probably my favorite panel. Um, it shows up a little bit better in person. Um, let me see if I can... Yeah, there we go. That, 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 with, with the lighting, that kind of looks more like, you know, how I'm seeing it. But I really like this panel. Uh, it's my favorite panel on the page. 
Um, I was able to make this work a little bit better for me, uh, make her look a little bit more consistent with, with some of the ways that I drawed her earlier. Um, and, you know, just tweak the face a little bit. I wish that uh, I repositioned the head, but I didn't want to fool around with it uh, too much uh, experimenting because uh, I needed to get stuff done. Uh, but I think in the future, as I gain more confidence and stuff like that, I will experiment more, you know. Now, again, you know, like this bottom panel, that bottom panel's not finished at all. Um, still got a lot to work on. This panel's not finished. Um, let's see. There's just like, you know, in this panel, a little bit here and a little bit there. There's some stuff I want to add. I do have a kind of a question, though. Um, you all were, were a great help with, with, the, with the last question that I had. And the new question is this. Um... Let me put my, well, shucks. Ain't got enough space for nothing. But this is supposed to be a Ford uh, Explorer from like a 1978, maybe Ford Explorer. And I was wanting to put Ford on the back of the truck. But I don't know, I don't think there would be any legal implications for that. But I really don't know, you know? Uh, so, so what do you guys think about that? You know, I think it's all right, but psh, I don't know the law and I don't pretend to know it. All I want to do is just, you know, make good comics. Uh, the, the, my other question is license plate. So there's a license plate here and I really don't want to do something cliche where I add, um, Like, uh, you know, some words that says like bad A on it or something. You know you, you know what I mean? So I kind of like, would like random letters and numbers like a real license plate. I'm also thinking about doing some uh, cryptid stuff in there and putting a series of numbers that mean something to me on there. Letters or numbers. Um, so, you know, that would be like a neat neat easter egg you know however i decide to do that okay so uh there is 16 pages roughly finished but that's not the main thing i wanted to show you um let me move my drawings just give me one second so i've reached a point in my comic where um where i need to start you know, promoting it a little bit more than what I have been. I've been trying. I've been making an effort. Uh, sometimes my promotion promotional efforts work. Sometimes they don't. Uh, I've been trying to take uh, Marshall's uh, advice about like finding like Del Keon and, and Pitt and '90s image comic groups on Facebook. And surprisingly, there's not really a lot. And and the people that 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 are active in these groups are not uh, really a lot. Um, but I have joined them and I plan on, you know, sharing some stuff with them maybe sometime or another, whenever I get, get, get to it. Um, I actually, uh, Del Keon, you know, added me on his friends list on Facebook, which is really, really cool. Uh, but the way I take it, 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 it Dale's, Dale's a bit of a, a, a recluse, you know, so he, uh, he, usually lets other people kind of handle his business. Uh, right now he has this uh, one lady uh, who, who might have been a fan beforehand, and she handles a lot of his uh, commission work where she's like the, the go-between, I guess. I don't know. I thought about writing uh, Dale a message and stuff like that, letting him know about the project that I'm working on and stuff. Uh, but then, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you write one of your, your heroes a message like, hey, I'm doing something cool. Uh, I, I think something. I'm doing something that I, that, I, that I enjoy that I think might be cool. Uh, check it out, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's partially inspired by you. You're, you're one of my influences, you know. And he probably gets stuff like that all the time. So, you know, uh, but I did have that thought. But <clears throat> it's pretty cool. He's on my uh, friends list now. 
uh, for how, however long you know he'd be there. Uh, so uh, what I want to show you now is I've been working on covers, possible covers. Ah, shucks. Uh, now I don't know how far back I did probably about um, gosh anywhere from about ten to fifteen different possible covers uh, for the first issue of Wildcat and. Um, As of right now, I think this this might be what I'm going to settle on. Uh, it's not the most ideal cover or anything like that, but it's I, I think it does a good job of telling you what's in the book. Uh, I think it's visually interesting enough, maybe that somebody who might be passing a comic book spinner if one still exists, or or, or a or a comic book uh, shelf rack thing that they may stop and say, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to flip through this, and then maybe they'll buy it. I don't know. But <clears throat> what I was trying to say a while ago before I went on my uh, Del Keon tangent is that, um, I don't, well, I don't know if you want to call it a tangent, but whatever, uh, that in the effort to promote my book, I need to start getting some promotional materials out there to... Stuff that looks really pimping to get people excited about what I'm doing because right now everything that I, that I've that I showed you is kind of rough, uh, and and there's still a lot of changes that needs to be made. I still have to ink it and all this other stuff. And you know, most people like to see the finished product. They're not interested in in your. And when I say your, I'm mainly referring to myself, but that, it's also general advice. Most people do not want to see a work in progress. Uh, well, I could be wrong. There's, um, in speed art videos, people typically enjoy those and that, and that sort of thing. But more often than not, you know, people don't have the same vision that you do. You know, sometimes I'll have something cool in my head and I'll share it with friends or family and all this other stuff or strangers. And and it could be a doodle, it could be a, a, a new riff on guitar that I've come up with. And, you know, the reaction I get is kind of very stale to like, eh, you know. But they don't understand, they're not, they don't see like, you know, if I'm writing a song that I've got all these different layers and, and dimensions to the song in my head. But they can't hear that stuff because, you know, it's a demo. Same thing with doodling. Um, you may have a basic idea and, and you're excited about it. But unless it's not really fully fleshed out, you know, people typically, you know, don't fall head over heels in love with it. Uh, it's one of the reasons there, like a couple years ago, I started coloring my own stuff to put on Facebook because I noticed I was getting a lot more likes uh, and, and comments on my stuff when it was colored. You know, that's a shame. But that's it's just how it is. Uh, anyway, possible covers. Sorry. Um, possible covers. So this is something, something I sketched out. I wanted to do some promotional work. And so I think, you know, by getting a few covers actually done um, and use them as promotional pieces to promote the book uh, by sharing them on Facebook and Minds and different various social media websites. All right, let me show you what I sketched out. All right, so this is, oh, this is crap. This is terrible. Here, let me fix this. Okay, that looks, that looks a little more. crap okay um anyway this is pretty rough uh, a lot of the pencils are very light um i tried to avoid doing dark pencil lines because it's harder to erase and so this is still like being shaped like clay and then when i once i get down to about where I want it and I'm confident in what I got down then I'll start darkening stuff with my pencil um, but yeah um, check it out I think it looks pretty cool here's the um, 
the original sketch and then here it is on the 11 by 17 paper um, there's some things I like about the original and some things I like about the new one and some things I dislike about each of them um, first of all uh, this is Wildcat um, headshot there there's the fox and I kind of wanted to capture a little bit of, of her essence, a little bit of her attitude, her spunk. I think I sort of done that, uh, not fully, but like you, you kind of get the gist of it, you know, the vibe of it, so I like that. Uh, you know, Wildcat's pretty straight up. Um, you know, uh, tough guy type thing. Uh, here, not fully rendered yet, is the bad guys in the story that you mainly see. Uh, the, the, the hooligans in the old Forgotten Cemetery. So, uh, got that. And here's a guy that you haven't seen yet, which is the, the Liquidator. And the Liquidator's big gun. Um, this is the moon, some trees in the background, and so forth and so on. And this is Wildcat's uh, shoulder. Okay. So I think this has all the elements of what should be in the first issue. And whether or not this guy shows up in the first issue, he will show up sometime in the second or third issue. So he, he is on his way one way or another. Um, but yeah, here's, here's where I'm at. Let me zoom in. So, I hope you all um, enjoyed this episode or, or got something out of it or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm not very inspiring today, I'm sorry. I uh, apologize that this turned into kind of a long one, but I guess it's kind of overdue. Simple fact, I haven't uploaded in the past a little bit. Um, but I guess I wanted to show you is that I'm making a massive progress. I've, I've been been really trying to huff it and get stuff done um so i got more stuff coming uh when i get this cover done i will hopefully if i if i can ever get to minuteman press so i can get this scanned and i got something else i gotta get scanned too for uh uh mike gunye um i get it scanned i get it inked then i'll get it colored and then you know, we'll have some cool stuff to share with the world. Um, well, I'm kind of trailing off, but anyway, I guess, I guess that's all the news that I got for right now. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure I got more, but, uh, I don't want to bore you all. So it's time, it's that time again. So, uh, if you just want to go ahead and cut the episode off, go ahead. But, uh, if not, Hey, I appreciate you just taking the time to watch this. So please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you really like it and stuff. Also, please remember to subscribe and follow if you want to keep up to date with all my newest videos that I got coming out. And I really appreciate it because it helps to get my channel seen and um, better promoted in all the various algorithms for YouTube and VidMe. But anyway, I um, appreciate you just taking time to watch uh, this video. I hope you just come back for more. This is CB Smallwood, and you're watching 100 Days of Making Comics. And I will see you in the next video.